Hi and welcome. This webinar will teach you how to use the essential features of our Smart Digital Publishing system without delving into too much detail so you'll be ready to start creating your own digital editions as quickly as possible. You can always find more information on our knowledge base where we've prepared a beginner's guide that includes a downloadable package of assets so you can follow along. We've also put together lots of helpful tips that you can reveal at every step through the system by clicking the question mark icons. But for a more visual approach, check out our how-to clips. As you can see, there's plenty of ways to explore and learn, but we suggest starting with this webinar so you lay down a good foundation which will make things much easier going forward. So let's get right to it. We'll kick off by creating a new digital edition using a PDF file. To do that, click the Create New Editions card that's located on your dashboard and select by uploading PDF. All you need to do now is drop in your PDFs, type in the title of your edition, and select the project in which you want your edition to be created. When that's done, click Next to proceed. At this stage, the PDFs will be uploaded and processed, which is indicated by the progress bars. When the process completes, you'll find yourself within the workflow where you're able to continue working on your edition. If you don't have a PDF, you can start with empty pages and create layouts using our design tool. Starting on your dashboard, click the Create New Editions card and select From Scratch. Now type in the title of your edition, select the project in which you want your edition to be created, Set the number of pages you want to start with and select the page dimensions and orientation. In addition, you can also select a custom background color of the pages. When that's done, click Next to proceed. The newly created pages will be displayed within the workflow from where you can launch the design tool and start working on the page's layout using your text, images, videos, audio and other elements, which is exactly what we will be covering in the following minutes. Next we'll look at how to rearrange the pages of your digital edition. With a single mouse click, select the page you want to relocate and simply drag it to a different location. You can do the same with a selection of many pages. Now we'll learn how to add elements to pages, starting with shapes. First select the page you want to edit and click the pencil icon to launch the design tool. From the left hand tools panel, select the rectangle tool. Now click and drag your mouse across the page where you want to create the shape. It's the same deal with the ellipse tool. In addition, you can draw shapes while maintaining equal proportions if you hold down the shift key, which allows you to create squares and circles. When shapes are in place, you can quickly create interactivity by applying various actions. First, select the shape you want to work with. In the Actions panel, click on the plus icon of the desired event, select an action that will be triggered and provide the details the action requires. Inserting additional images is also very easy. From the left hand tools panel, first select the image tool. Now click and drag your mouse across the area where you want the image to be placed. The instant you release your mouse button, just drop your image and click Upload Files. Once the image is on the page, you can drag it to a different location and change its size by using the handles around the element. These changes can also be made in the Properties panel, where you can be a bit more specific about the position and size of the selected element. Whenever you need to change the image, reset its ratio or size, you can easily do that in the Adjacent Image panel. Now let's animate the image to give it some life. First select the image you want to animate using the Select tool and have a look at the Animations panel. What you'll notice is that every image already contains a quick fade in animation by default, which consists of two steps, the initial step and step number one. To build upon that, select step number one and turn your attention to the work area. The image element will now offer additional handles allowing you to manipulate the element and effectively change the properties of the selected step. 
Using these handles you can easily change the element's position, opacity, origin point, scale relative to the origin point and rotation also relative to the origin point. Each step's duration can also be changed by dragging the end keyframe right or left. We've now instructed the image to change its initial position and properties to the position and properties of step number one, which you can preview instantly if you click the play button. You can add additional steps by clicking on the plus icon and change their properties in the same fashion as we did so far. To preview the animation, simply click the play button one more time. Let's continue with embedding a YouTube video. From the left hand tools panel, select the video tool. Now click and drag your mouse across the area where you want the video to appear. After the video element is created, select the YouTube as the video type from the right hand video panel and simply paste in the direct video URL which you've copied from the YouTube site. Once the video is on the page, you can drag it to a different location and change its size by using the handles around the element. These changes can also be made in the properties panel where you can be a bit more specific about the position and size of the element. What's more, you can upload and use your own poster image instead of YouTube's default one. Once your digital edition is finished, we suggest optimizing it for mobile devices. Within the design tool, click the Create Mobile Version button. This will open the mobile editor that enables you to drag and drop mobile elements in the center area and provide text content. Most of them are tailored for a specific purpose, but there's also one that allows adding your custom HTML and CSS code. In addition, you can add existing page elements which come with additional properties that enable better mobile adaptation. Now provide the title, description and the custom URL segment for this mobile version. Set the page range this mobile version will represent. Select the background color and select the template and theme. If necessary, you can reorganize, edit or remove any element at any time. To preview the mobile version, select which device you want to simulate and click Preview. Before you can publish your edition, you'll need to provide some info. Starting on your dashboard, locate the edition you want to edit and click the corresponding Edit button. By default this will open the main workflow tab. The edition info is located in the left hand basics section. This is where you can quickly change the name, add or change the description, and add or change the cover image of your edition. It's time to wrap up, so we'll go ahead and publish our edition. As we can see, this edition is currently unpublished, which means its bespoke URL is not active yet. To generate a review link, click the Create a Review Link button. The generated link will be active only for a limited time, so we suggest you don't share this URL just yet. Before you publish your edition, you can edit the default URL address. To publish your edition, select the Live option and click Save and Close. Now you can share your edition with readers worldwide. Thanks for watching and have fun!